Hello there, this is Roboy94 with uh, some uh, new maps or tutorials for, uh, well, basically maps, maps or 32. Uh, I haven't made uh, any uh, maps or 32 tutorials in a long time, and uh, in the past my videos were only uh, with text. And, well, I thought, uh, well, there were some spelling errors, and I didn't cover everything very good, and, well, basically I think. Uh, people could really use uh, a better explanation than my previous videos and I saw, I saw my uh, videos were pretty popular so I think well now that I have a headset I think I could uh, make some new videos it's also easier for me to uh, uh, edit because uh, in the past I needed to uh, add uh, the text on the bottom screen and sync it with the video and that was uh, a lot of stuff to do so basically I'm here uh, with new tutorials uh, going uh, beginning from the start uh, until uh, well the more uh, interesting stuff into uh, advanced uh, map building with uh, maps or 32 so in this video I'm going to uh, explain the basics uh, what sectors are and uh, how your basic 2d controls work uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, so you first uh, start off in uh, a big grid box like this. Uh, let me zoom out. Here I have already a sector from a previous uh, map. Uh, well, not the previous map, but the previous tutorial that I tried out. But my video uh, recordings weren't that good, so I've uh, I'm going to uh, retry recording again. Uh, so yeah, here you basically see the big box uh, is the area which you can make your map in. Uh, it is limited, but I don't think you will uh, have uh, annoyance with the limit unless you're m really planning to make a gigantic map uh, like I love to do. But still, yeah, you know, you don't have to make it that big. Uh, let's just say... A, qu a good map doesn't need to be big, but just needs to have uh, fun gameplay and, uh, you know, some attention to detail is always very nice and you don't need to make it big, just try to make it nice. Most of the popular levels that you see in Duke Nukem and Doom are, you know, are pretty small. If you look at the legendary first few levels in those games, you, you see they're not that big. So, uh... We basically have our big big box. We can move around uh, using uh, our middle mouse button or our right mouse button works either way. As you can see, I'm now moving around. Uh, we are basically the white arrow over here. Uh, so if we, you can see here's a, a green arrow to indicate the spot. So if I were to uh, hover my mouse over here and press the right mouse button, you see my uh, camera just moves over here. The the white uh, I'm sorry the green arrow stayed in its place, but it's the white arrow that just keeps coming to my mouse cursor whenever I hold the button. So it's basically I'm moving it around. As you can see, I'll show you here next to the corner. If I'm moving it around, you can see that I'm just moving the arrow around. It will always follow me with the cursor if I'm holding my right or middle mouse button. So uh, yeah. The green arrow over here is your starting point, however, uh, since this is an empty map, you have no starting point at all. So if you would start this map, you would st start in uh, eternal blackness and would die instantly. Uh, of course, we do not want to have that, but uh, let's first just uh, start building our first sector. Uh, so you can draw a sector by pressing the space key. Uh, you can change your grid. Uh, your grid is basically the uh, uh, scale of your squares over here so you can press the G key to make it smaller up to 8 units I think which is very small if I zoom in as you can see compared to the arrow uh, and then there's a final auto size that will resize itself depending on my zoom level so you can see it keeps getting smaller the more I zoom in so that's basically uh, a very easy task. I mostly just use the 256 units, but auto size is very good as well. Just going to start here. So like I said, you can start drawing your sector by pressing the space key. A point will be inserted. Uh, you can see over here, 
uh, you can see also there's a very nice uh, indicator of length of your uh, wall over there like for example now it says 1024 now it says uh, 1280 and so on so uh, when you want uh, to draw uh, and make a corner you press space again another corner is made and then you can make a square just like this and finish your square so here we have our square made uh, this is basically our first sector which is well a sector is like a room uh, but it can be an outs outside room too it's basically an area that you are in uh, so each pl uh, moment you are playing a game uh, in Duke Nukem you are basically walking around in sectors um, so yeah uh this is how you make a sector if you you can uh insert points to uh modify your sector by pressing the either the i or the insert key uh if you do that you will insert a point like this let me just insert a few points so you can clearly see how it looks like here you can see i can drag the points with my left mouse button and as you can see i only drag the walls with me that are directly connected to the point uh, so if I were to keep this point over here and drag this one you'd see I'd make a shape like this if I add another point here and pull on this you see it will only uh, grab these specific walls you can delete points by just dragging a point onto another point like this which is very easy to do um, you can uh, let's see you can uh, also uh, select your points uh, your multiple points by holding your right shift and making a square over your points that will select these points and you will be able to draw you to uh, uh, move multiple points around to make more advanced sectors or to make some quick big adjustments however you want to uh, you can also move around your sector by taking all the points however there is an option to also select the sector yourself by pressing the uh, I believe it's the uh, right alt button however for some weird reason the green square does not appear for me in the past it always did like you can see in my previous mapster video the green square does appear and will select uh, your uh, sector and by doing so you can uh, copy your sector and select it and move it however I am afraid I cannot show you this because for some reason I just cannot select my sector my right alt key is not responding and I have tried to fix this but there's no way maybe it's because it's a test build of Mapster I'm not sure but uh, you can select it by pressing your right alt button uh, if, if it works for you I'm not I cannot guarantee you it will work but it's not uh, too bad that it's missing because uh, I didn't use it that much oh it's only handy for copying sectors if you want to make a few really quickly so what we will basically do is uh, now uh, well let's just uh, explain first how to uh, freely build sectors so uh, you can unlock your uh, grid you can see uh, what I mean with locking and unlocking your grid is when I move my point here the corner it, it you can see it snaps onto the corner of my grid and if you do not want that you can press the L key you see my mouse cursor has turned white and now if I move around my point I can freely move it wherever I want uh, this if you want to make very specific uh, sectors with very small details um, I do not adv advise you to uh, build sectors with the w w white cursor well maybe you can you, I mean building can but only if you uh, really know how to what to make and however you cannot finish your sector in this mode when it's not locked because you can see when I zoom out they are not connected and it's next to impossible to connect them well you need to be very specific to to connect them 
like that but it's easier when just locking your grid making your mouse cursor red again and making it like this so they will just snap on very easily um, you can delete your sector by moving your mouse cursor in the sector and pressing ctrl delete this will delete your sector if you accidentally delete it you can always press ctrl z to uh, undo your last uh, action so you can bring back your sectors uh, or bring back any deleted sprites or whatever um, so uh, what you'll want to uh, do next is of course make another sector because well you can't have a level with only one sector that would be uh, a bit foolish and uh, well not, not a fun map at all it would just be one square or whatever shape you choose so if you want to connect your sector to another sector um, you must insert a few points first well not necessarily first you can also start drawing and insert your points while drawing in the past this was not possible but thanks to uh, uh, I'm not sure who uh, the people are but uh, thanks to whoever is uh, updating Mapster32 it's now possible to uh, do it while building so for example uh, if I want to make a sector over here you can see here's already a point so I need to add another point here you can see and then I can start drawing my sector to connect it to the points and you can see it's connected so if I were to not uh, create uh, a sector like that for example if I would start drawing here without an uh, without a point insert here I press space but nothing happens and you can see in the bottom left it says it says you must insert a point here first so you can do that by pressing insert while drawing and keep on drawing uh, also note if you uh, for example let's just delete insert another point and now I were to draw over this and skip the point without pressing space it would not be a good connected sector so uh, you can see it's blocking my arrow over here however this connected sector I can just go through meaning it's a good connected sector sector you can also see it because of the red stripe over here um, so what we need to do is uh, remove the uh, point like this uh, well let's just you know if you have like multiple points over here and you just want to m connect it you need to press space at every point just like this so don't skip it like this but place a point here first and then go here and it will be good uh, it will be a passable good uh, red wall uh, with an extra duh, 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 point so yeah um, so here we have another sector we can basically move around the point to make it a bit wider now uh, what I want to explain to you the differences between uh, what sectors actually are so uh, I'll show you it in 3d mode just to give you an example however I will not uh, explain any uh, keys on uh, how to play move in uh, 3d mode I will explain that in another video uh, I will tell you you can enter 3d mode by pressing the uh, num enter key so uh, uh, I'll have to uh, uh, well I'll I, I basically have to stop my recording before pressing the key uh, or else my maps are 32 will crash with fraps and when I'm back in 3d mode I press the record button again so uh, it will not always be instantly when I switch uh, so yeah let's try so here I am in 3d mode uh, I can move around uh, and you can see here is our square we built and here you can see the extra sector we have added to it so uh, you can basically see that so what the basic difference is I mean you can see why make a different uh, square next to it well you can just make an entire shape like this well another sector means it's like another platform so if I were to uh, change the uh, ceiling height of uh, this sector here you can see that it's not the same height as the other sector here so it's basically like another room so you can lower it or make it go higher on the floor 
like this so you, your player have to has to jump on uh, it's stuff like that so basically that's what another sector is you can't uh, you, you will need to do that w when working with different heights or different textures so if I for example uh, will put an, in another texture let's just choose a random texture over here you see the floor only on the our first sector will change same goes with uh, the other uh, uh, textures like on the wall or on the ceiling uh, on the wall it's a bit more specific when you have points it will be point specific so only the wall between two points will be that texture uh, stuff like that but I'll explain that in a later video when moving to uh, advanced uh, sector building within uh, 3d mode as well so uh, I'm just going to go back in uh, 2d mode now so back in 2d mode you have seen the differences between uh, our sectors and what they basically are uh, and how you can use them and why they are actually usable so uh, the green uh, arrow is your starting point so let's just uh, edit it so you can basically move your arrow around with your arrow keys uh, you can also press forward and back to move it around like that and left and right to rotate it and when you press your scroll lock key it will uh, create your starting point in the level at that place like you can see our green arrow has now appeared there which is very easy uh, to do and changeable you cannot uh, undo it I can uh, I try out now so uh, if you so you'll need to watch out with when pressing the scroll lock key it can change your uh, starting location pretty easily um, so a few more things to keep in mind uh, you can create sectors within other sectors uh, however uh, when I uh, uh, let's just show you when I create like a square within our sector it does not become another sector uh, let me just easily show you by pressing the backspace key to let you show the ground textures uh, you can do that uh, but when using uh, when building a bigger level the showing the ground textures will uh, eat eat up more of your uh, computer's processor so only if you have like a fairly powerful computer I'll advise you to do it so you can see we basically have like a hole in our sector it's not a uh, another sector like this but it's basically a hole like the rest of the world keep in mind the rest of the world is basically nothingness any sector connect connected to the uh, rest of the world becomes a wall like you have seen so if I go back to 3d mode you can now see that uh, this square I have placed is also a wall and we cannot pass through it because like the connection to the emptiness uh, behind the these walls it's also a connection to emptiness behind here so it basically basically creates a wall for you uh, in your level however uh, it is different to creating a custom wall that you could pass through uh, like for example a door that's closed let me just show you so here we are back in 2d mode so uh, if you want to actually make a sector out of this square you have just built and don't want a wall or a pillar like that you press alt s while holding your cursor on it and you can see it has just become a sector like this uh, so if I were to go back in 3d mode now you would see that uh, the wall here is gone and if I move down here and just lock it hold on uh, for some reason it's not my mouse isn't aligned very good with mapster 32 so you can see I can create like a box or something that's just uh, outstanding on the uh, well uh, it's standing out on uh, the rest of the sector so basically this area here down here is a separate sector and this box over here is as well so we could change the textures to like a box texture or something and just make like uh, a box out of it like this 
you know, you, you, you can basically understand what I mean. We could make like a box or a chair or whatever, just depending on how uh, you use the shapes. So uh, what I could also do is create a fake wall by just uh, either moving the floor up to the uh, top or either moving the top to the bottom which is uh, which will make me go be able to pass through it you can see the ceiling here appearing uh, this is basically the same way how uh, doors are made so if I were uh, if I were to uh, Hold on, it's not reacting very good. Alright, so if I were to make a door, it would also be closed in this state, and when I press the key, it would open like this, and then close again like this. This is basically the main difference between a wall and a fake wall like this. Only if you keep it like this and don't make it a door, it will just stay like this. So you can basically do it however you want, but uh, it's more efficient just to create a real wall with blackness if you want to keep it closed because uh, it will uh, be better for the uh, for the CPU uh, needed to uh, run the level. So now back in 2D mode, um, we have uh, our little square here, but not really finished or anything. We're not gonna do a lot with it. Um, so uh, the last thing I think uh, you would want to know uh, in uh, your uh, 2D controls uh, I think is placing sprites. Uh, you can basically do that by pressing the S key and you can see a sprite has appeared. It looks uh, it's the same like uh, this texture over here. You can move it around. You can also press the backspace key again that you will not see your sprite so uh, your sprite is basically uh, an object in the world uh, you can edit it uh, w w in the 3d mode in 2d mode I don't think it's really possible at least I think no, I don't see any possibility but your sprite will basically be um, like an enemy or a weapon pickup that you can place in the level but uh, basically, in the first place, you don't need to know to use it because uh, you, you, if you don't know how to use 3D mode, then uh, it's not very useful to uh, place sprites yet. Um, so yeah, so these were basically uh, most of the uh, basic uh, 2D controls. I think uh, try to uh, get used to the controls. I would suggest uh, make a few sectors here and there. You know, just try to make some sectors like this and make them connect to each other and make like a little maze I don't know only if you really want to uh, try to uh, you know uh, uh, to make yourself uh, get used to the controls or whatever uh, yeah so basically that uh, I think those were all the useful stuff that I needed to tell for basic uh, sector making I think at least uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Robo94, and uh, I appreciate uh, the many views I am getting with um, for my maps 32 con uh, tutorials. So uh, yeah, well, basically since I see a lot of people like to uh, see them and like to make maps, uh, I'll be glad to help you. Uh, it's at least uh, I get more views for this than on my let's plays, so it's always a good thing to get more views as well. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and. Uh, Try to uh, get used to the uh, controls and uh, I hope uh, my tutorial will help you in uh, becoming a good mapper. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in uh, the next tutorial.